so in composite transformation what actually happens you can i should say concatenate two or more two or more transformations okay two or more transformation operations like let us start with translation now you want to have two translations okay first you want to translate to this position this is your original position x y so you want to translate it firstly to this new position uh, i should call it uh, something it was p this is p p not and then it is again translated to a new position we call it p dash okay this will have your x dash y dash now in order to find this position if you don't know about this composite transformation you will apply two different multiplications and then you will get this result no issues for each pixel you will do the same thing for each pixel of an object if it is being translated to a place you will for each pixel you will uh, multiply this thing you will trans Leave this object to here, and then again you will translate all the pixels to here, right? Rather than now, what we are learning is, suppose uh, these are the two translation vectors. Uh, let me call it as here t x one t y one, and again t x two and t y two. okay that means if you want to perform a translation first translation is tx1 ty1 what does it mean what if i you will have your p you will perform your translation with this mat this information tx1 tx2 right now what about the result you are getting here on these pixel you will again perform this translation okay this translation so let me write it like this t tx2 ty2 okay okay this translation matrix multiplied by p what about the result is getting we will multiply the translation mat new translation matrix that is what we do if you do such thing you will get your required p dash no problem now this thing uh, can we write this thing like this translation matrix of tx2 into ty2 dot translation of tx1 comma ty1 this y1 okay into p is there any problem till now no sir yeah so i believe we are able to understand that this can be written something like this very easy to understand this was our original p we multiplied with this translation matrix whatever the result we get and we multiply this thing is it possible to multiply these two first and whatever the result is there we can multiply it to the p matrix yes it is possible so this matrix is what in the, your uh, homogeneous coordinate how do you write this translation matrix i believe you write 1 1 and 
1. Here you write Tx2, Ty2 and done. Other places you have 0. Is it okay? For the second matrix, similarly, if it is translation, you are writing something like this. 0, Tx1 and Ty1. Other places are 0. So, let me find uh, the multiplication of these two matrices. First of all, tell me whether uh, I am able to, I am allowed to multiply these two matrices. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, what will be the result? 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Here you will get 1 only. Eh? This will yes, be sir. multiplied by this. 10, 0. 0. Then Tx2 plus Ty2. Tx1 plus Tx2. How? This is multiplied by this. So, 1 into Tx1, Tx1 plus 0 into Txy. So, 0 plus Tx2 into 1 plus Tx2. Okay? Then you are will have 0, 1 and uh, this is being multiplied by this. So, Ty1 plus Ty2 and 0, 0, 1. Okay? So, this is something you can easily understand that what is happening. The two translations, what are they doing? Um, it is moving in uh, x direction with uh, Tx displacement. Then again we are moving with Tx2 displacement. We are just adding these both of them. Right? Here, what about Ty direction? This much displacement and Ty2 direction. Uh, in y direction, Ty2 displacement. So adding these two will give you this thing. Ultimately, this is something that will happen. So now, you can directly multiply this matrix with your P. So, what is happening here? If you were writing T of Tx2 and Tx um, Ty2 dot T Tx1 and Ty1 So, this can be equated to similar thing is Tx1 plus Tx2 comma Ty1 plus Ty2. If I am writing something like this, is it wrong? No, it is not wrong. It is correct. So, earlier performing two separate operations on each pixel is no longer required now. What do you have to do? You have to perform whatever the scaling are uh, once and uh, keep it as a single matrix and this single matrix can be used. Rather than that, you should also understand that what happens in this composite matrix of uh, multiple translations. We have just to keep, uh, uh, just to add the multiple translations and keep it in the third column. Okay, it was Tx1, Ty1, again the next was Tx2, Ty2. If there are some more translations, then you can add here Tx3 and Ty3. So, easily you will get this matrix which uh, is to be multiplied by the pixels to get the new position. Similarly, if you have multiple rotations, what will happen? Yes, 
if you suppose you have two successive rotations one rotation with theta 1 again you are rotating your p is uh, something being rotated by theta 1 and then again whatever the result you get you rotate it with theta 2 okay then you get your p dash so this thing is it possible to write it similarly as we have written earlier r theta 2 into r theta 1 and whatever the result is we will multiply it with p can we write it like this Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I am saying something, we will have to verify whether it is correct or not. I am saying that this thing, R of theta 2 into R of theta 1, okay, I can write it like the rotation of theta 1 plus theta 2. What do you understand by this? Is it correct? If it would be correct, then what will happen? The P dash earlier that we were writing like this. Now, this P dash can be written as the rotation of the sum of two angles theta 1 plus theta 2 into P. Whatever your point was, Okay, let me take the point here on the axis, it will be easy to understand. Okay, it was first of all rotated with some theta 1. Okay, it reached here. Okay, and then again it was rotated with theta 2. and it reached somewhere here. So, this multiple rotation, I want to say that I can write it something like, it was rotated from initial position x, y to a new position x dash, y dash with an angle theta 1 plus theta 2. Tell me if I am wrong. No sir, correct. So, in that case, this thing has to be correct, but let us verify whether it is correct or not. How can we verify it? We have a rotation matrix, we have another rotation matrix. We have to multiply these two rotation matrix and we will see whatever we are getting the result is similar to this or not. Okay. So, if we will multiply these two matrices, uh, rotation matrix, what is the rotation matrix? Rotation matrix is, is cos theta minus sin theta and sin theta cos theta this is theta 2 0 0 1 0 0 this is your first matrix multiplied with the second one what is the second one again the same thing cos theta it is 1 actually cos theta 1 sin theta 1 minus sin theta 1 and cos theta 1 0 0 1 0 0 so if you will multiply these two matrices what will happen this will be multiplied by this so what will you get cos theta 2 cos theta 1 minus sin theta 2 
sin theta 1 okay ultimately you will get it as cos theta 2 plus theta 1 okay similarly here for this position second position what will happen the same thing this will be multiplied by this what will you get cos theta 2 okay minus cos theta 2 sin theta 1 plus no no both are in minus only okay minus of you can keep minus outside then cos theta 2 sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2 cos theta 1 then you will get minus of sin theta 2 plus theta 1 okay i believe you understand that writing theta 2 plus theta 1 or theta 1 plus theta 2 are same okay here writing theta 1 plus theta 2 or theta 2 plus theta 1 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2 both are same so similarly here you will get all uh, those values what are you getting here sin theta 1 plus theta 2 here it is 0 similarly as it was required you will get here sin theta 2 plus theta 1 and here you will get cos theta 2 plus theta 1 okay so what we are saying here is if you want to rotate an object there are multiple pixels to be rotated so you can just if there are multiple rotations you can just find out you can use this rotation where you can add the theta 1 and theta 2 and use it with the pixels that is a possibility okay what about the scaling so let us talk something about the scaling what happens in the scaling you make it uh, you multiply with some scaling factors okay so here what we are trying to understand is we are concatenating more than one scaling operation okay so what is happening your one of the scaling similarly as we have seen earlier your pixel was p you performed some scaling scaling uh, with uh, sx1 i believe then whatever the result is there you will have to scale with sx2 right then you will get your p dash so the same thing you can write you can make a composite matrix for this multiplication with sx2 okay sx2 sy2 also i should write right sx2 sy2 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 multiplied by sx1 and sy1 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 am i audible yes sir okay so you will multiply this thing if you will multiply what what will be the result this position will be multiplied right sx2 sx1 other places are same sy2 sy1 other places are same okay are you getting what i am saying yes sir mm. so if you want to perform a scaling usually what happens you just multiply this to p 
if uh, there are multiple rotation let us multiply these earlier so we are multiplying these two you will get this re as a result so you can understand that you can write it uh, these two operations if you have successive uh, scaling operations with uh, sx2 sy2 into s sx1 sx sorry s y mm -hmm. one that you can club it together and you can write it something like s x one into s x two what about multiplication is okay committed and s y one s y two Easy to understand? Is it okay? Yes, sir. So now we are seeing pivot point rotation where we are trying to understand if you want to rotate an object on the basis of some pivot point then what you need to do you need to bring the object i should say the bring the pivot point to the origin along with the object and then you perform your rotation after rotation you retranslate it translate it back to the original position so in first rotation first translation if it was uh, um, whatever translation factor was tx and ty then what will happen when you are translating it back it will be minus tx and minus ty is it here you will perform the rotation so now you can understand that uh, in homogeneous coordinate we have seen that there are certain kind of uh, um, representation of matrix in which you perform the rotation then you have seen that how two rotations can be clubbed together I, uh, you called it composite transformation okay however what you have seen till now in composite transformation are two similar transformation either two translation two rotation or two scaling now here we are going to see something which is three transformation operations can be clubbed together in a one composite uh, form okay one is translation rotation and again one is translation how can you do that for the first translation you will have a matrix it is one I believe if I'm right you will write TX TY tell me if I'm wrong the second thing is you will perform rotation right so can you tell me what will be the matrix for rotation what will be the matrix for rotation am i audible yes sir okay sir. okay cos theta minus sin theta zero cos theta minus sin theta and sin theta cos theta sin theta and cos theta and then you will perform another transformation sorry translation which is 1 1 1 and here you will write minus t minus tx and minus, minus t very good so first of all you perform the translation you brought to the origin and again you perform the rotation and after rotation you again perform a translation with negative sign can you tell me what will be the result of this oh my, let us try uh, how can we find the result you will have to multiply first. two of them first and then we will multiply the result with the third one right will it be better yes sir hmm. 
so let us do it something like this here we are multiplying this thing with the column you will get it what are you getting cos theta only yeah? T is multiplied by 0 right ok this this column it is minus sin theta and done here you will get Tx then sin theta cos theta Ty 0 0 1 ok now you will multiply it with 1 0 minus Tx 0 1 minus Ty 0 0 1 what will be the result let me write it now here it will be this is multiplied by this thing so it is cos theta only this is multiplied by this so it is minus sin theta only this is multiplied by this so it is minus tx cos theta minus minus plus t by sin theta and then tx into 1 right plus tx is it correct hmm? yes sir ok so this thing multiplied by this so what will happen sin theta cos theta and here this is multiplied by the third column so it is minus tx sin theta and minus ty cos theta and then ty into 1 so plus ty correct 0 0 1 Oh, sorry 0 0 1 okay so you can also arrange it uh, like here uh, in this term and this term tx is common so you can keep tx uh, together so tx into 1 minus cos theta okay here ty and ty is common so you can keep ty into 1 minus cos theta that is a possibility so in this way you can make a composite matrix for your um, rotation at the pivot point rotation along i should say rotation along the pivot point you can also call it as general pivot point rotation similarly you will also have a general fixed point scaling where what will happen you will bring the object to the uh, origin means translate it perform the scaling and retranslate it right so Okay, we will see this thing uh, again in the next class.